if you know the actual terms that motherfuckers who do shit actually call it, like, yeah, no, you know what the fuck it is. So, uh... I want to say thank you to all of my Patreon supporters and Twitch subscribers. If you want to help out the channel, support me on Patreon at Crimson60620 and on Twitch at Crimson620. Thank you for your support and please enjoy the video. All right, let's um, cover this last story. And this is actually going to be uh, kind of a cool down. And I want to say, um, yeah, like... Um, Let's, let's just address this. And I'm going to end it early tonight because I um, just want to get some rest. And um, I really want to take a shower and take a shit. So um, this is what we're going to do tonight. All right. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. Yes. Hi, guys. You know, there's certain shit that you don't do. You don't say unless you know what the fuck it is. Um, look, dear. And this is what I saw in my, in my um, discord today. Check this out, by courtesy of Thunder. Catthorn's claim is verbatim that he watched an unnamed person do a key bump right off in front of him. Now, this should require some pointing out. This should require some pointing out. And people should live how they like. But people who don't do key bumps are very very seldom people who know the term keep up <laughs> so fucking true if you know the actual terms that motherfuckers who do shit actually call it like yeah no you know what the fuck it is so uh let's go back to the um uh, raw story um about how uh madison cawthorn is um saying that he was invited to wow sex and orgy parties and shit like that Hey, hey, just because his legs doesn't work doesn't mean his penis doesn't. And mind you, he recently got, he's recently um in the process of getting divorced from his wife because irreconcilable differences. And, you know, it was a Russian honeypot. So, like, people forget that. That, like, he's had some, quote, unquote, sex candles where he has, he literally has had the whole honeypot, like, Russian, like, spy and shit like that. But, like, now they say that he doesn't like no i kind of think that this motherfucker knows what he's talking about just because it's seven sixties and seven year olds in fucking washington dc i i don't know i don't know but uh, like yeah let's let's go let's go um on wednesday axios riley's loose um lucille sherman reporting that representative the math madison cawthorn appears to have lost the institutional support of two North Carolina's most powerful Republican officials who are now backing a primary challenger. Oh shit, his job is about to go bye bye. A, a new announcement shows that the fundraiser launched on Tuesday for the congressional run of the state Senate Chuck Edwards, who is running for Cathar's 11th district, will feature state. President pro temp Phil Branger and House Speaker Tim Moore as special guests. Oh, wow. As Sherman notes, both of these officials have obvious reasons to support Cathor's, um, Cathor's opponent. Edwards is a Senate colleague of Berger. Meanwhile, Moore's candidacy for Congress was started after Cathor decided he was jumping over it to run in a widely in a new drawing newly drawn excuse me district where more, more was running even though it doesn't share much territory with its current district now Cathorn ultimately changed his mind and moved back to his current district but not before more was pushed out of the race this comes to Cathorn a far-right Trump ally has faced many furious has faced fury from his own party after basically alleging that other house members 
are throwing drug-fueled orgies by the herdy leader Henry, uh, Kevin McCarthy and privately berated him today and publicly stated that he has lost my trust. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Okay, no, that's all right. Oh God, that that is fucking a that is fucking amazing. That is fucking amazing. I I just can't like like it's something about this whole thing. Let's let's see if we can actually pull that shit up. Here. Um, let's see. Oh. Okay. Yes, here here it is. Here's this video. And um this was actually about 3 months ago. Let's let's look at this shit. Why Here's a hilarious story that I I am enjoying a whole bunch but don't care that much about, but it is absolutely fascinating what it tells about all people in all parts of media. So, Madison Cawthorn and his wife are getting a divorce, which is on its face hilarious that a religious person gets divorced. I love So, yeah. Yeah, this is this is a story about three months ago. Listen to this shit. Love it every second of the day after they tell us how we're not religious enough and then they get divorced. But recently a video surfaced that kind of implied that maybe Madison Cawthorn meeting his wife through this weird interaction on jumping the border from Scandinavia into Russia, also some kind of fake. Um, like CrossFit competition resulted in him meeting his wife and getting married. Maybe it was a honeypot situation, which is like Spycraft 101. Anyways, here's the video that surfaced. Take a look and we'll discuss. So me and a bunch of my friends, we went to, uh, we, we got to go over to um, the, over to very close to Russia. We got went to Sweden and Norway. Then we got on a boat and went into uh, St. Petersburg in Russia. And, you know, we just decided to take $100 each and go into a casino and see how it went. And, you know, I ended up meeting uh, an American there who was a captain in the army and who was originally from Miami. And so we hit it off. Later, I was down in Miami for work and uh, he, he texted me and said, hey, would you like to come compete in a CrossFit competition? And so I said, I was... I, 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 CrossFit, huh? Okay, let's go. Well, laugh and said, well, well, Todd. I'm in a wheelchair. I obviously can't do CrossFit. And he said, well, just do the pull-up section. I was like, okay, sounds good. And so I show up. But anyways, it all was a sham. It was a fake CrossFit competition. He just wanted me to put me in the same room with the uh, the girl who is eventually going to become my fiance. And so. So after all of that, right? Like, I wouldn't put it past Math Madison Cawthorn to ineloquently speak about how shit happened fucked up and not know how to fucking really say it like no this shit really happened like i know this shit really happened but like i, I wouldn't put it past him but he said too much shit and now people are moving to like say like fuck him i i don't know i don't know maybe it's just me maybe it's uh, maybe it's maybelline but he, this motherfucker seems like he's just getting all in <gasps> all types of trouble when it comes to sex and shit. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. But anyway, guys. Anyway, guys. Um, I want to say thank you for watching this clip. Um, we're going to um, hopefully we don't get in trouble like Madison Cawthorn. Oh, God. We're going to cut it here. All right. If I gave myself the power